and welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all kinds of cool facts about the world around you. In today's episode, we're going to explore the amazing world of dinosaurs that existed millions of years ago. From the king of the dinosaurs, the T-Rex, to the largest herbivore that walked the earth, the Argentinosaurus, let's get to know what they looked like, what they ate, and why they're not around anymore. Let's get started. Dinosaurs roamed the earth over 200 million years ago and were the dominant terrestrial vertebrate for 135 million years. There are around 330 species known to science. And their modern ancestors include birds, crocodiles, and reptiles like salamanders, lizards, and turtles. The name dinosaur was invented by Sir Richard Owen in 1842, and it means terrifying lizard. Before people knew what dinosaurs were, some cultures believed dinosaur bones were dragons. Dinosaurs existed in a period of time known as the Mesozoic Era. This was from about 250 million years ago, to 65 million years ago. Within the Mesozoic Era, there were three main periods during which different kinds of dinosaurs evolved. These were The Triassic Period The Triassic Period was 250 million to 200 million years ago. This was the early rise of the dinosaurs and when the world was a single landmass called Pangaea. It was a hot and dry place with large deserts. At the end of this period, the continents began to split apart through a lot of earthquakes and volcanic activity. Dinosaurs that existed during this time included the primitive-looking herbivore called Lystrosaurus, early ichthyosaurs in the warm seas, and early predators like the Postosuchus. The next period was called the Jurassic Period. This period was from about 200 million to 145 million years ago. By now, there were two landmasses called Laurasia and Gondwana, and the climate was very different. It was hot and tropical. Lush conifer and monkey puzzle trees grew tall, and there were a lot of ferns and plants. This gave plant-eating dinosaurs plenty of food to eat. This was a time when huge sauropods evolved, such as Diplodocus and Brachiosaurus. The bird-like Archaeopteryx emerged. Pterodactyls ruled the skies. And you would now see Stegosaurus. And then there was the Cretaceous period, which was 145 million to 65 million years ago. By now, the continents had split into pieces, and looked similar to today but in different positions. Flowering plants had evolved, as well as insects, like bees, to pollinate them. There were now more diverse ecosystems and a lot more species of dinosaur. Some popular examples included the Ankylosaurus, with its clubbed tail, the iconic Parasaurolophus, with its long crest, and fierce predators, like the Velociraptor, and the Tyrannosaurus rex. Most dinosaurs were reptiles that laid eggs. They ranged in size from over 131 feet long, like the Argentinosaurus, to small dinosaurs about the size of a chicken. They were either herbivores that ate plants, or were carnivores and ate other dinosaurs. Most dinosaurs had scaly skin like modern reptiles, while some had hard plates for body armor. Long horns or spikes, and feathers were also starting to evolve. Paleontologists, who are scientists that study dinosaurs, can only guess what color and patterns dinosaurs were, because there is no evidence to show us. Why did the dinosaurs die out? There are a few theories, but the most popular is that a massive asteroid hit the Earth. Located in the waters of Mexico, is a crater where a six-mile-wide asteroid, called Chicxulub, hit the Earth 66 million years ago. It had more than four and a half billion times the energy of an atomic bomb, which killed millions of dinosaurs instantly. After that, runaway climate change, from ash and dirt thrown into the atmosphere, meant many species couldn't adapt quickly enough. The Earth became very cold and dark. Plants died, and 75% of all dinosaur species went extinct. Just like the dinosaurs were able to emerge after the mass extinction of the Paleozoic era. Mammals were able to emerge when the Mesozoic era ended. They thrived because they were warm-blooded, and had very little competition for food and habitat. From tiny rodent-like creatures, came thousands of new species. Today, all that remains of dinosaurs are their fossils, which is when their bones are preserved and turn into stone. Paleontologists then dig up these bones and try to piece together the puzzle of what dinosaurs looked like, and how they may have lived. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson on dinosaurs, visit Kids Connect for more facts and fun worksheets. Which is your favorite dinosaur? Find whole worksheet packs on them, and on topics like the Mesozoic period. Gondwana. Plant-eating dinosaurs meat-eating dinosaurs, extinction, and free dinosaur curriculum packs. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.